All right, so let's get going. Um, I went to Radio Shack and I got some diodes and I put the module together to rectify five phases all on the same kind of board, if you want to call it. Radio Shack is terrible in service. Well, ours anyway, so it's not fair for the rest of them. So, um, But anyway, I got what I need. They do have what we need, though. So anyway, um, so now that I have them all in the same module, I connected all five neutral points together. All right? So all five neutral points connected together. Now I have to put the five leads on. So let's watch that uh, voltmeter is already connected to positive and negative. So phase number one, you won't see much. Yeah, I guess so, you won't see much. Phase number two, which is B, on. So now what do we see? We see 6.3, that's only two phases. And we get number three, which is C, seven. So now they're dropping, they're not uh, adding up as you would expect them to. Oh. So D, E, D, and at eight, this is D. So I have five phases rectified. It's given me 9.6, so about 10 volts at. One seventy one seventy five. So this method right there is giving me one seventy five RPM at one seventy five is giving me nine point six for ten volts. So let's put a load on it. So under load Oh look at that sucker. Comes down. Two point seven. So let's do the same configuration with these uh, bridge rectifiers. That's the point I want to make to show you under load. This actually setup will uh, perform better. Without the load on, we know it's nine volts, ten, ten volts. And with the load on, it goes down to 2.9 or whatever, 3 volts. That's what that setup is. But this setup is going to give me more voltage at the beginning. So let's go quick. And I'm going to disconnect. So this setup requires us to disconnect the neutral points. All right. So phase here, phase here. I've got to make this happen under 10 minutes. Take this sucker, it doesn't exist anymore, so let's take these leads. Let's see, with the same RPM, with the same exact thing, what are we getting? Oops, that's positive. Yep, positive. Okay, positive, positive. That's just for the voltmeter. Negative to negative. Voltmeter. Okay, so using this method right here, This right here, where two phases on this, three phases on this, and the neutral point is separate for each combination. It's giving me 14 volts rectified. The other one was giving me nine. But let's see what happens when I put a load on it. So the same RPM. Or it doesn't matter. What happened in this case, it kills it. So I don't know exactly what's happening. All right, that's the point I want to make. I have no clue what's happening. The load, the, the motor to run this, um, the magnet, it's it's taking a lot more to run it. So it's actually killing it when you put a load on it. So definitely the other way around is better or the right way, which is this way. Unfortunately, I need more RPM to get this uh, 
and I didn't recognize that. I calculated on this combination, and that was an error. So if you have five phase, start with a five phase module rectifier. Don't piece it like I did, because all these, um, so in order to get to 12 uh, or 14 volts with this, I think I need to go up to 210 RPM. All right. I hope I explain things a little better. Getting better though. Okay, let's leave it at that. Let's take this. And the ohms, it's 3.4 for each phase. That's the resistance. Okay guys.